Thank you, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jude Kelly, the Artistic Director of the South Bank Centre. I'm going to give a brief introduction, but I'm also going to reassure you that uh, halfway through the concert, you're going to hear directly from Chi Chi Nwanako, who founded this extraordinary project, this groundbreaking project, Chinake, that you've all gathered here to see this afternoon. At South Bank Centre, we believe that the arts should be for everyone. And it's something which is easy to think and hard to do. And the greatest art should belong to the greatest number of people. And through conscious or unconscious bias, we know that that's not the case yet. But Africa Utopia, the festival that we're doing this weekend that we founded three years ago with Baba Mal, we founded it because we believe that the continent of Africa is one of the great inspirations throughout history and for our future, and that we need to find as many ways as possible of learning and being inspired by what's gone before and what is to come. And that's why when Chi Chi, who is a founder member of the Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment, constantly looking around her and feeling somewhat lonely as a member of an ethnic background, in the world of classical music, something which most of us in this room adore, or will adore, as we know more about it. She, along with many of us, wondered, well, why is it the case that it remains a lonely place for people of an ethnic background? And a groundbreaking moment in terms of Africa Utopia, which has a subtitle, How Can Africa Solve the West's Problems? A groundbreaking moment was last year, when with the help of many people in this room, including Ed Vesey, we brought the Kinshasa Symphony Orchestra here. And they played, and some of you, I think, were at that concert. And the startling symbolism of seeing that orchestra play was profound. Because not only were they superb musicians, that had to be a given, but they walked for hours to get to their rehearsals, they wrote out their music individually with pencils on pieces of scrap paper. The effort and determination that they had to put into creating that orchestra was inspiring and humbling. And I know because she's told me this, that this was the trigger for Chi Chi to say, actually, how could it be that that orchestra could come into being with all the travesties and difficulties that have had to, uh, had to be fought and we can't prevail upon ourselves to do the same in this country. Now, we know that education in the arts for children and young people is too patchy and too particularly tilted to those of us who have solvency and education, and it shouldn't be that way. But we also know that unless children see as role models in front of them images of leadership, images of success, and images of the unusual, it's hard for them to say, well, I think I'll do that. And so the formation of this orchestra today is something about our commitment at South Bank Centre to change-making. We can't say that art is there to change the world unless we see visible evidence that that is actually happening. When we finish tonight's performance, the result of the hard work of Chi Chi, the incredible support from the OAE, everything that we've tried to do at South Bank Centre over this year to bring it into being, we hope that the result will be that this orchestra will endure. That's certainly our commitment. We want it to be your commitment too. This afternoon, the Junior Symphony Orchestra, drawn from children from ethnic and black backgrounds from right across the country, played marvelously. And they also played another session this afternoon where they invited other children to come and join them and sit beside them and play alongside. And that too, will undoubtedly produce leaders of the future, definitely musicians of the future. So the whole thing is something which has come into being because people had faith in the future. You know, there's no art that comes into being that starts with logic. If anybody began with, well, is the money in place, nothing would ever happen. But if you begin with, is this the right thing to happen, then we can make a change. Now, I want to just say that um, Chi Chi has always said to me, I'm a musician and music is music. And that is true. 
But if music belongs to some and not all, or it belongs in a particular way to some and not to others, then music itself becomes infected with hierarchies and ideas which should never belong to art. And I think that is why she would like me to tell you that she named Chinake from an Ibu word, creator of everything good. There is nothing cynical, there is nothing uh, about this moment which is to do with correctness. It's come into being, really, because it's of its time. So please welcome Chinake. <laughs> 